Oi you, listen up, I'm going to have my say. Okay, guys, it's John back again. I had a call today and it was basically a, a, um, a scam call from someone claiming to be from a bank. Now, this person called up said, hello, I'm from whatever bank, I won't say their name, I don't want to want people to think that this is a bank that's being worked by scammers a lot. But they, they said they were from this bank and it, just by coincidence I do have an account with this bank. And I don't think they had any of my details from the bank, I think they just looked up my number because that is a number that can be looked up, it's publicly listed. And they just thought, okay, well, going through numbers, ring people up, try and get details so that they can get money from their accounts. <clears throat> anyway, the way the call went was they said, yep, we're from such and such a bank, we just need to ask you some questions for security purposes. Okay, yeah, they asked me name, what's your full name, what's your address, what's your date of birth, normal security questions that banks ask you when they do ring you up to make sure that you are the person they're supposed to be talking to. But the person just didn't seem right, the call just didn't seem right, and I was getting suspicious after about half a minute or so and yeah, I started getting suspicious and they, they were telling me that they were ringing up because there'd been some sort of government action and they realised that um, they, I'd been overcharged in some way and that they were just getting my details to make sure that I was, that I was authorising them to pass my information on to the government so that the government could tell them that they could pay for money and all this. It was just a really, really dumb story, very unrealistic, and it just really got me suspicious. Um, the thing that, thing that broke the camel's back was when she asked for my license number, and I've never had any organisation ask for my license number for security and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, it was just seemed suspicious. Um, she t she told me it was one and a half thousand dollars that I was going to get. I knew I haven't even been charged one and a half thousand dollars by 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 this bank, so I knew it was when she said that I knew it was fake. So what I did is I said I'm going to hang up now and I'm going to call your bank back and ask for your section. What section are you from and what's your name? And I'll get back onto you and we can sort this out. Surprise, surprise! The person just hung up. So knew straight away this is a scam call. <laughs> They didn't want me ringing back. They they weren't they weren't going to tell me what their name was or anything like that. Um, having me ring back the bank, I was going to look up the number myself, ring them up, know that it was that bank's number, and it wasn't not get a number off this person because you know it's just that's going to be fake anyway. Anyway, it got me thinking to got me thinking about how many people get scammed by these people. How many people get sucked in and give out all their details? So they, they didn't have an account number yet, I don't think they'd gotten around to that, but they had, they got my name, which they already had anyway, um, address, which they could have got from the phone listing, and date of birth, which was something they couldn't have got, so they got my date of birth. Um, I didn't give them a license number, I wasn't going to give that out, because I know that's a pretty important number in terms of identifying yourself. Um, they didn't get any account numbers, and I rang up the bank anyway and said, look, I've just had this scam call, can you put a hold of my account? Um, told my wife about it, just said, look, if we get any calls like this, just hang up on them, and if you, if you think you need to, then ring the actual bank up, find your own number and ring the bank up. And she said, oh, my friend had a call like that the other day, and they actually took money from her account, and I thought, oh, like, this, this friend of hers isn't a silly person. She, um, yeah, she would normally, I would have thought, would have picked up on these things, but anyway, she was trusting it. Um, yeah, she thought she had some money coming to her, and it got me thinking, how many people do get caught by these things? Obviously, my wife's friend did, and that's a bit of a shame she hasn't been able to get her money back, um, which is a bit of a bother, and it that just highlights how people have got to be aware. Um, obviously, it happens all the time. You get like email scams that come through, phishing scams, where people try to get your account details off internets by sending an email, email and getting you to log, log in through a certain link. Um, normally, unless it comes from a trusted email, like you have telephone companies or power companies and you know that your emails come from their email account, you might have it saved in your contacts, and yeah, you might click on those ones, but when, you, when it's not a trusted email, always look at 
where the email is going to and if you're not sure just go to the company's website log in through your normal account or call them up or send in an email through their website that way you know that they're the real company don't trust the email links don't trust people who don't sound right on the phone if um if they're coming with money that you don't think you are owed then you're probably not owed any money and you're probably going to lose a whole lot and um yeah if you've got any stories of um, times that you've been scammed or if you know people who've been scammed um, any other experiences with scamming that you've got then um yeah drop a comment down here okay let us know um, do a video response would be great but yeah it's just it's interesting to to know how many people get scammed by these people that obviously it happens a lot you hear about people um, having scams being attempted on, on them all the time and obviously there's some money in it because these, these scammers keep doing it they're obviously getting some sort of benefit out of it so there must be a few people there who are getting caught by these scams a few people who thought they were going to get the um, the inheritance from some dead Nigerian prince or something like that um, I get those emails as well and I just delete them <laughs> if you get those just delete them they're totally fake no one's going to pass six billion dollars through your bank account and give you one tenth of it or anything like that all they're going to do is get your bank details and take money out so yeah let us know drop a comment um give us your, give us your story or do a video response they're even better okay and if you want to keep up with what's going on and that's my say then subscribe up above it's up above this side somewhere up there somewhere and um yeah and you'll you'll get to see what else i talk about anyway i'm john and that's my say. See you later. Well, that's my say. What do you reckon?